Welcome, Park Hopper. She's Zena. There's my thumb. Together we are Team Psych. Be sure, <laughs> be sure, be sure to subscribe to our channel, like our videos, comment, share. All that good stuff. There's something we're forgetting. Oh yes. Ring that bell. Ding ding ding. Very important. Ring the bell. Get those updates. We did something last night that was interesting, and we're doing a couple of parks today. Here at Animal Kingdom, Pandora first. Let's start with the rest. See where we go. This theater is epic. Actually, it's uh, kind of a normal theater. But this is where I proposed to Xena lo those many years ago in about 1962, thereabouts. <laughs> and tonight, Xena has proposed that we go watch. Toy Story 4. What are our expectations for this movie, very honestly? Sadly, not very high. But we'll see. This is 10.30 on a Thursday night, opening night, and it's an empty theater. Xena's already here. How does she beat me in here? Wait a minute. So this is the, this is the difference between 7 or 8 and 10.30. Wait till you see what she got. I got a kid's pack. And it came in this really cute Toy Story 4 pack. I got my popcorn, and I got a special cup. Got Bo Peep and Woody and Buzz. And it came with this little topper, and I could have picked from Woody, Buzz, the alien, um, Bo Peep, and the new and character. Sporky, but I've always liked Buzz. I mean, what? <laughs> oh, is this some kind of Freudian slip? I've always liked Woody. So I decided to go with him. <laughs> Big day out for us at the parks today, Park Hopper. We're just going to have a lot of fun on a Friday. We ended up here at SeaWorld Orlando first, one of our favorite places, as you probably can tell from our channel. And uh, we saw Toy Story 4 last night. Yep. What did you think about it? Oh, uh, well, you have to stay tuned and wait, I'll tell you later. Oh, wow, check that out. And this is where we got that pin and another one. Come into the waterfront shops over here. Over to Under the Sun, right on the corner next to Artisans Hall. And they were giving away pins for free. You could choose from one of six for the first 1,000 guests. <laughs> we came over to Pacific Point Preserve here in uh, the left side of the park to see the baby sea lion. Oh my goodness, there it is. We had seen it online. It's feeding on mama. Let's see if we can get a closer look. Well, we rode a couple of the rides so far. And we didn't ride Manta up there, but we rode Mako. Pixar didn't happen. Hopefully we'll insert the pick. And I rode Kraken. I don't know if that pick is gonna come out. We didn't bring the GoPro today. But on Kraken's lift hill, off to the right at Pacific Point Preserve, I could see the mama and baby sea lion. It was pretty cool. I have no proof of that. Look at the pelicans. Bam! Animal Kingdom. Oh, 
We ordered lunch from the Harambe Market. I got the fried pork sausage, and it has a curry ketchup on it with pickles, onion. That was 10, 10 29 with this coleslaw on the side. And I got this kids' meal uh, chicken with cilantro rice for $7.39 and one side, which I chose apples instead of the carrots, blah. And also this little container of Minute Maid apple juice. The uh, children's meal looks actually a little smaller than I expected, but this is why we try it. We want to let you know what kind of values you can get around, and I'm willing to take that hit for the team. It's a tiny meal sometimes. Snacks later then. How is that sausage down there, Dana? Thumbs up. Ketchup onion relish. It's good. It's not overly curry. Curry? Yeah, it's very sweet. It's good. It doesn't it taste doesn't very onion y. It doesn't taste like onions either. It's really good. The rice bowl, I would maybe consider getting it again because it was delicious. The chicken tasted like tandoori chicken, which is something I really like. The rice is very tasty, but it is on the small side. But I still have some apples and some apple juice, so that'll make up for it. Since we're here during a uh, Lion King re-release time, basically, let's point out Zena's shirt that she chose to wear today. It's not the typical Hakuna Matata shirt. It's from Chewy's. It's Hakuna Matako. You'll see that's a taco and not a sunrise. And you have a little chihuahua and a jalapeno or a chili pepper down here. <laughs> We're back here in the woods where Rafiki's Planet Watch entrance typically is. And we're waiting for it to open on July 11th, was it? And we got roped nicely into uh, this wilderness explorers scavenger hunt. Yes, and uh, so we're hunting for plastic animals over here. There's a beetle, there's a butterfly, there's a turtle, there's a praying mantis up there in the center. We are learning more about these animals in their habitats. And Xena got a cool sticker. And now we're gonna have to go to different parts of the park, I think, as well. There are little fun kid slash adult activities in here. And now we're gonna learn about purple martins and the like. You may be familiar with the purple martin nests, the white, circular bowling pin looking structures, uh, especially over Epcot. They migrate. That's your big word for today. Migration. We're going to see it on a sign over here in a second. This, of course, is a great Another example sticker. of how to use um, things that we would normally throw away. What do you guys think you can either recycle or reuse at home? Plastics and paper. Here is one of the Purple Martin nests that you'll see at Epcot. We get an up close look. Xena is earning badges. Those are the stickers. We have right here a turtle. A green sea turtle. So if you're filling out the ID card, it is a sea turtle. And what do you think is wrong with my sea turtle? What do you notice in the x ray? He's got something that he probably shouldn't have eaten. That's yeah, so this big white spot right here. This sea turtle was actually caught over in Vero Beach and ate a bunch of different types of trash. So plastic bags, balloons, fish hooks, things that shouldn't be in their belly, right? Yeah, so the veterinarian actually had to take care of this turtle, get all of that out. We're wilderness explorers. We want to help the sea turtles too. What can we do to help the veterinarians and the sea turtles? Put trash in its proper place. Yes, exactly. Put trash in its proper place. So if it goes in a trash can or a recycling bin, or if it's something you can even reuse, better ways than to just let it be, right? We have nutritionists here at the zoo, and they help determine what the different food, um, different animals should eat. So I have three animals. We have a baby elephant, an ostrich, and some frogs. Which one of those three do you think is going to drink their mother's milk? Baby elephant, ostrich, or frogs? The elephant. The elephant. So if you want to match them up, you can. Um, but a baby elephant is going to drink their mommy's milk. So between ostrich and frogs, which one's going to probably eat more insects? The frog. The frog. So match up that frog to the um, insects. And now last but not least, that left us is ostrich and oyster shells. That's kind of a weird one, right? Yeah. So why do you think ostriches eat oyster shells like this? Different protein. Different mineral. 
one that gives us strong bones. <laughs> calcium. Calcium. So they, there's two reasons why they would peck at something like this. One is to get the calcium. It gives them very strong eggs. You want to feel an ostrich egg? It's a real ostrich egg. Oh. Yeah. So this was from the safari. We just clean it out so you can see how strong their shells are. But also, has anybody ever seen a bird eat? Birds will swallow their food whole. They don't have the teeth to chew. So if they eat something like this, it gets stuck in their gizzard, which then the food has to pass through and it breaks down when it passes the rocks. So it helps them to break down their food. There you go, my friend. You've gotten both of my badges. <laughs> Tamu Tamu over in Africa section. Zena is smiling because she got the Simba Sunset special for the Lion King release. Mm -hmm. And this is how much it has melted from counter to table. Yeah. And we have only had this for like less, I think less than five minutes. Yeah, probably two minutes, yeah. <laughs> literally. Florida Sun happened. Don't Play. It's Dole Whip with watermelon and coconut syrup and strawberry. It's and, very good. And the pineapple flavor, correct? Yeah, and the ice cream. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so it's $5.49 plus tax, $5.82 ish after tax. She likes it. I don't typically like watermelon flavor, real or artificial. Let's see how I like it. That's acceptable. Yeah, it's not too bad. All the syrup sank to the bottom pretty quickly. That's a bummer. It's hard to get that mixed. We are done here in Pandora. We got to do some really fun rides today. We scored a fast pass for Avatar Flight of Passage at the very last second. Actually, I think every single time we've ridden it has been by same day fast pass. Yeah. yeah. We rarely are able to get them in advance, in advance, oddly enough. It's easier to get them the day of. Hey, we found this really cool wall. We'll call it an Instagram wall on our way out of Pandora and on our way out of the park. It's all Lion King themed. Wait, did I say Lion King themed or something Lion King themed? <laughs> yeah. 
I, I think Xena sounded like Keith Morris in there for a second. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> if you watch Dateline, you know what we're talking about. And Bill Hader and all. Yes. We're in Island Mercantile, um, near the entrance slash exit uh, corridor of the park. Came across this Toy Story 4 merchandise, which reminds me that uh, we didn't give our opinion on the movie from 10.30 last night. Despite our hesitations from seeing the trailer, <laughs> we quite enjoyed it very much. It was really good. Yeah, Lots bad. of feels and warm fuzzies. Yeah, it was actually... Those ones, we won't tell you what happened. No, but... no, but here you see Forky, the new star of the movie. And uh, I actually thought it was an uh, alright movie. And at least I don't like big, long adventure cartoon movies that have a trauma and a separation and all that at every corner. But I understand that's going to be part of it. Given all of that, and having seen the first three, I kind of like that. Which are all solid movies too. This was a solidly made movie too. Yep. Entertaining. Yep, we enjoyed it. Yeah, interesting uh, location choices and all. Yeah. And Bo Peep is awesome. Yeah, here's their sheep. Yeah. Woo. And they have some fun codes. You can get Bo Peep and, and Officer Giggle McDimple. That's so a great name. If you've seen the movie, you'll know who she is. She's pretty cool. She's probably my favorite character. Yeah. Favorite new character. 15 bucks, by the way. Bam. Here is Bo Peep herself, times a million. That's a lot of Bo Peeps. There is uh, some additional Toy Story 4 merchandise in Island Mercantile. You got your cute little phrases here and puns. Forky just wants to be a fork and he's homemade. Hey, we forgot to tell you what we thought about the Hikama slaw <laughs> with Xena's lunch. We didn't like it. <laughs> no, it was actually kind of spicy. And bland. Not a great combo on a hot muggy day. About that treat that we had, the Simba Sunset, for the price, I mean, even though it's going to melt and the syrup is going to melt to the uh, sink to the bottom, it was still tasty and refreshing. We would recommend that over, say, something like an almost $6 Mickey bar. No. I used, I used to love the Mickey bars, but not for that price. <laughs> Bye, Mickey bars.